What's up guys and welcome back to the John Q channel and I apologize for my voice. I just got back from NRA in Dallas and so obviously my voice is now somewhat shot, but that's totally fine. I will talk as much as I can and maybe have to go on vocal rest for a day. So in today's video, I'm unboxing the S2 Salt and Maze brand pepper gun. Now, for those of you wondering, yes, that's a thing. It's been a thing for many years and I believe that Salt and Mace brand have now merged together and made something of a cool product. Some people are saying that the S2 might be a better option for a less than lethal encounter device. So let's get into that right now. I actually do have the holster for it. This is a just a normal Kydex holster for the S2 blaster. And this right here is the package that you get. Uh, this package right here is going to cost you about $299. Uh, so for about $300, you get this launcher kit that they provide. And so let's quickly unbox this. Okay. So this is what you get right here. So you get the pepper launcher, you get uh, a few of the rounds, you get a magazine and a CO2 canister. Now, full disclosure here, uh, the Mace brand did showcase this at SHOT Show, and I was there, and we struck up a conversation where they would send this launcher kit for me to use on the channel and review it, kind of give you my thoughts, and I've already done a few YouTube shorts, so go check this out if you want to, but they did send this out to me to review. So in this launcher kit, you get, of course, the blaster, and you get um, a little canister of practice rounds, or impact slash kinetic rounds, and they also get practice round. And so, to my understanding, these practice rounds, they mimic the smoke cloud of the real live mace rounds, which you can find in this canister right here. And these are the ones that are spicy. So if you do get hit with the live rounds, it might be a bad day for you. Or in this case, for me, when inevitably I will potentially have to get shot by these because I gotta test this out for myself. So maybe at some time in the future, we'll do that. But for the most part, I will be using the impact rounds as a test on myself. Um, and so that will be coming out at some point, which will hurt, but will be fun. And of course you have an extra magazine. It comes really neatly in this packaging, which I'm a big fan in. And of course, an extra CO2 canister as well. So. Let me kind of give you a quick overlook into the S2 Blaster and kind of give you the rundown of what to expect. So now for this specific blaster right here, I did already put a CO2 canister, so it is live. There are just no rounds inside of the blaster. The one thing that people are going to inevitably ask or comment is why not use a real gun with real live rounds and take down your threat? Yeah, that's a fair question but then you're going to go to court, you're going to have to go through a long process of in why you did what you did. Which brings us to the sponsor of this video, Right to Bear. If you're like me and you carry a gun every single day, everywhere you go, you need protection. Protection that is going to back you in the case of a self-defense shooting, or a self-defense stabbing, or a self-defense pepper blaster incident. When you sign up for Right to Bear, you get these benefits unlimited civil and criminal defense, psychological support, and expert witness coverage, and so much more. There's so many things you can add on and you can cover for yourself and for your family members. So for a low monthly cost or a yearly cost, you get all these great benefits and coverage and access to the best coverage out there in the country. Just use my discount code JQ10 at checkout and you're gonna save 10% off your entire order. If you value your training, your time and your life, you need to sign up today with Right to Bear. Okay, let's get back to the video. So a couple of things with this pepper blaster, okay? Kind of just walking you through it. Um, do it, let's see, will I? Okay, I probably won't unscrew this because I don't want the CO2 to empty. Uh, but if you unscrew this piece right here, this will come out and you insert your CO2. Now, let me grab another CO2 real quick. You'll grab your CO2 canister and place it just like this, and then you'll screw this cap, and then you'll you'll give it a squeeze or a tap, and you'll hear you'll hear that, which means it's working. So that's what you would do there. Interesting enough, the magazine doesn't come from the pistol grip like you would see in a regular pistol. 
If you press this button right here, it will actually, all right, there it is. Now the magazine does hold five rounds. So a total of five rounds do fit into the magazine, insert the magazine and you're good to go. You have your push safe here and then you also have your push fire here. So if you want to fire the blaster, you press the push fire, you'll see the red little ring. Remember, red is dead. You'll press the trigger and you'll hear very loud blast one after the other. I'm not gonna do it now because the kids have just gone to bed. I don't wanna scare them and my wife. So I'll kind of give you this clip here. So now if you wanna fire, all you do is this. And just like that, you have a great option for non-lethal self-defense. And of course, with the kit, I was sent the Kydex holster. Just in case you do want to carry this on, on your belt, on your range belt, whatever you might want. Now I understand this thing is pretty big. And I think that's what it was made to do, made for, so that you're not reaching for something lethal. I think that was the point, because when you go to reach for this, you're going for a less than lethal option. When you do decide to point this at someone and press the trigger, you're going to hit them with a blend of pepper and also mace, which if you've ever been sprayed by mace or OC spray, it's not fun. Trust me, in the academy, I got sprayed, it was not fun and it did hurt for 24 hours or so and it sucks now whether you like it or not or you don't think this is a good idea or a good thing to do this is a great option for people who don't want to carry a gun i mean just to give you some context if you get shot by a pepper ball from this blaster it's going to hurt and it's going to really disable you and you're probably thinking how they're little pepper balls well, that's a good question. So on the website, it says that these rounds are effective at over 150 plus feet. So you don't have to get close to the danger to protect yourself. And the CO2 forcefully shoots these rounds at your threat at over 350 feet per second. You're going to experience severe impact distress. And you're going to deal with things like temporary blindness and loss of breath. Trust me, you're not going to be able to breathe. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty hard and you will be disabled which is why I say this might be a really good option for someone who doesn't want to get into the lethal world of guns, but wants to get kind of a soft start or soft jump into that. And I'm totally okay with it. I think there's a product and option as far as self-defense for everybody. And so when you do go to the website, you do spend about $300 on this less than lethal self-defense kit. All right, so the impact rounds come in this little canister and I mean, they're hard. I mean, you can't, this is like a jawbreaker. I mean, about the same size, same, same hardness. Comes with, uh, what is four, five, six rounds in there. Now the practice rounds, uh, they do mimic the smoke that the, the mace rounds release upon impact. And so these don't have, from my knowledge, the, the pepper, but they will smoke and mimic the mace rounds and of course you can get you know more rounds more magazines more co2 canisters and so these right here are the mace live rounds mixed with the pepper um, and and mace so i mean as you can probably tell if that hits you going 350 feet per second you know if it's close close quarters even like 25 30 feet that's that's gonna hurt. That, I feel like that's gonna hurt. So, is my throat just acting up or am I, I feel like I, I, feel like I sniffed some pepper, which I mean, I did, basically just did. So yeah, that's something that you will get in the kit. You get those three things uh, for the 300 bucks in this launcher kit. Is it worth it? Do you guys think you would run this? Would your wives, girlfriend or spouse, do you think they would, you know, feel safe with something like this in their purse, in their car. I'm interested to see what you guys have to say. I know that I'm gonna go out to the range, test it, fire some rounds, fire some mace, and just see how effective it can be and what it feels like. So that is the unboxing kind of first look, my first impressions on the S2 Pepper Blaster. Uh, I would love to know what you guys think, please comment down below and let's have a discussion on what this could do if it's useful and all of the above and of course guys i appreciate you guys for watching thanks so much 
Thanks for the support, and I will catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace. I am not excited to get shot by an impact round, and then at some point, I feel like I'm gonna, nah, I should probably do a practice round, and then also one of the mace, because why not? That's gonna be, that's gonna be dandy.